I've been creating some order in the audio visuals I've made over about the past 20 years. And I've found that there are lessons to be learned. Our saving grace is that backup in zip. It's very easy to create from the file menu top left, yet it allows the show to be opened many years later, even on a different computer with no dramas. 1024 pixels by 768 was once a state-of-the-art slideshow size, and having a backup in zip allows me to adjust those early shows so they play a little better within the more modern 169 aspect ratio. These are in fact 1200 pixels by 798. Now I can't change the size of those original images 1200 by 798 because they were pre-sized to make the original show and there's no easy way back from that now. Now I think some of my older shows are still worth a view. In fact the older they get the more interest they seem to have. We can adjust or update these early slideshows as long as we save that backup in zip. Some of my shows needed the end credits changed to reflect my current web address, but also to make them play a little sweeter within the 16-9 aspect ratio. Now, if you feel you will never want to edit an old show, I can tell you with a fair degree of confidence you almost certainly will. Now this is a backup in zip that I created in 2008. And what I need to do is to make the adjustments and then resave a new project file and of course at some stage create a new backup in zip. Now you'll notice when you view these images that they're not filling the screen that well. And I've also put a frame around these. But the frame is in white. So if I make my background white and I extend it to 16.9 aspect ratio, then maybe we can make more of this show. Now, if I do nothing, this is how my slideshow is going to look on a modern screen. But I think we can improve things. So here I am in the slide list. I'm going to go to my project options here, into the main tab, and you'll notice two things. At the time I made this show, I already made my background color solid white, so I don't have to change that. But you can see the aspect ratio originally made was 5.4. I'm going to change that to 16.9 and we'll OK that. Uh oh, we seem to have a bit of a problem here. Things are not looking quite right. But it's pretty easy to put right. Let me select just one of these images. Open the objects and animation screen. You can see the image is made up of two parts. I created a frame at the time. I made this in Photoshop. So we've got a mismatch in size here. If I drop the opacity of the frame down, you can see the picture now is too big. So what I need to do is to select the picture, go to the zoom, right click and ask to see it at the original size. That way I'm going to get the best quality and I've got my picture back in the required size within the frame. Now I've got a couple of options here. I can decide to remove the frame if I feel it's not doing a very good job, but I think it works pretty well with these images. So it seemed a good idea at the time I made the show. I'm going to continue with it. But it does mean that I've got to go to every slide in the sequence in this sort of fashion, select the image, right click and choose original. Now that's going to take us a couple of minutes, but that's time well spent. Now this is how the slideshow will look now, because I filled the black edges left and right with white. But I could decide to remove the frame completely, and in that case, the image we're going to see is going to look something like this. But I also have the opportunity to put a drop shadow beneath that, so if we wanted to display these images with a slight drop shadow, giving that 3D effect, we do have those options as long as we save that backup in zip back in 2008. Now as I went through my cleanup process I was disappointed to have lost two sequences. I had the executable file but no backup in zip. Ultimately I found them. 
They were hard to find because I started making a slideshow with one name, but during the process I must have come up with a better one. But I never changed the name of the base project folder, and I trusted my memory. Now I think that's a good lesson learned because it's not uncommon to start making a slideshow with one name that maybe complete it with a different one. Now during my good housekeeping I did discard four or five old sequences that seemed like a good idea to make at the time I made them. But I doubt I'd inflict them on anyone else now. So we parted company. I'll see you next time.